we discussed finding out the moment of a force in the previous videos how do we find the moment of an area or moment of a volume or a mass we know the for areas and masses there is a term centroid or center of gravity again that is we, we, we discussed in the videos previously the area is concentrated on the centroid and mass or volume is concentrated at center of gravity so the moment of an area about an axis is the product of the area itself and the distance between its centroid and the axis with reference to which the moment is to be calculated. So you can find the moment of either an area or a volume or a mass if you know the centroid or, or center of gravity of it. So in the figure shown you have an you have an area which is lying in the xy plane and the center of gravity is shown here so the moment of this area about x axis is the area into y which is the distance between x axis and the center of gravity the perpendicular distance again and the moment of this area about y axis is area a into x which is the perpendicular distance between the center of gravity or centroid and the y-axis. Now there is another term moment of inertia which is the second moment of area or volume or a mass. What is the second moment? Simple you multiply the area two times with y I'll just increase the, uh, the the font size. The moment of inertia is it's a simple term. Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is second moment of area. Area or volume or mass that is usually the moment of inertia is uh, 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 described by the term I so if you refer moment of inertia about x axis that is defined I x x this is a usual notations that will be equal to the area into y squared so if you multiply the area with uh, the distance between the centroid and the reference axis two times then you get moment of inertia about that reference axis consequently i y y is again that is the moment of inertia about y axis that is area into x into x x is the perpendicular distance between the centroid or center of gravity and the reference axis now if you have different areas and you know the centroid or center of gravity of each area then the the net um, the or the total moment of inertia will be let's say i y y here which is the moment of inertia is as you can see from the figure a1 into r1 square plus a2 r2 squared plus etc you can see similarity between many of the uh, terms that we discussed previously in this so moment of inertia it is simple 
it is the second moment of area and here the distance is the distance between centroid in case of areas uh, and center of gravity in case of uh, masses and the reference axis so product of the area and the square of the distance between the centroid and the reference axis that is your moment of inertia and in, in here you have different areas in, in uh, with, with respect to the same axis that will be a1 r1 square plus a2 r2 square plus etc up to uh, the, the complete number of areas now if you have i x x and i y y there is a, a perpendicular axis theorem or theorem of perpendicular axis which says if you know these two and you have a third axis which is mutually perpendicular between these two which means you have an axis protruding at 90 degree from here then i z z will be i x x plus i y y and this is called perpendicular axis theorem so if you know i x x and i y y where x x and y y are mutually perpendicular axis and you have a third axis which is mutually perpendicular to both x and y then moment of inertia of that area about the third axis will be the sum of i x x and i y y that is perpendicular axis theorem now you have another one which is the parallel axis theorem which is again very simple suppose you have an area here as shown and you have an axis that is passing through the center of gravity of that area and suppose you know the moment of inertia of this area about this axis then you can calculate the moment of inertia of a parallel axis remember this is a parallel axis to this axis this xx axis and this axis is passing through the centroid of the area then moment of inertia of this area about the axis a b will be moment of inertia about g plus area of this shape into the distance between the axis squared that is parallel axis theorem if you know the moment of inertia of an area about an axis that is passing through the centroid of the area then you can calculate the moment of inertia of the same area about another axis that is parallel to the axis which is passing through the moment of inertia by this equation moment of inertia about a b is equal to moment of inertia about g centroid plus area into h squared we will do some problems this is very important uh, uh, terms in uh, engineering mechanics and we will do some problems in the next videos